عمر قنبوت عيد محا؟ ثلاث ساعات زارني هنا هون سمي سياس عيد محا؟ عشرة عمشة اوكي كيف جمهور ذا سمي ابو قنبوت بهال علمي عشر شو من ده لما هارد عشرة حالة لوامي اني انا بتعمي انا مسنا كده اكيد ارتبت سايد ياي everyone my name is Luam Yasu and I am a photographer who lives in Cincinnati Ohio I am a student at Northern Kentucky University studying visual arts and business management and will be graduating in December so almost there it's been a long time coming so I'm excited about that You can find my artwork on uh, my Flickr page or Facebook. I post um, sometimes on there also, but mainly my Flickr page. And I don't really sell my artwork. I've never really thought about it, but maybe it's something that I'll be looking into in the future. So as far as right now, I just post it and like sharing it with people, just seeing what their reactions are, and that's pretty much it. What is art to you? That's a tough question. You got me with that one. Let's see. Oh man. Um, I feel like art is such a large. It's such a <laughs> large entity that you cannot compress it into just one definition. And I'm sure there's a definition for it, say on um, in a dictionary. But the actual meaning of what it is. And, you know, it's something that's timeless and it's, it's in everything that we do. This is going to sound really cheesy, but I, I would say that art is life and vice versa. I feel like because going through life, you're continuously, continually expressing yourself. And um, that is what art is to me. So going all throughout life, that's what you do. You're creating art. So art is you. I, to be honest, I don't think I found my purpose yet. I think I found purpose in um, helping others create art, for instance, with the project that I'm doing. But for my own art, I think it's more, I'm still getting a feel of why I do it. I know it makes me feel good and that's um, I guess more for a selfish reason but it's um I, I don't think I found my purpose yet and I think uh, that's gonna happen maybe within the next year or so. I feel it coming. I would say that back home I saw tons of photographers but m most of them if not all of them were involved with the wedding industry so it's um as far as photographers who used this craft to express themselves uh, creatively or, or for personal projects and concepts i didn't see that 
um, so I think it's just more so for the wedding industry but maybe that'll change within the next couple of years um, and locally in the states I definitely see a lot of photographers from here in Cincinnati to New York um, to down south I mean they're just <laughs> constantly emerging and I'm running into them all the time on Facebook so I think there's a large photography population here in the States and also in Canada I'm seeing a lot more over there also but as far as art as a whole I think that we as Airtrains have a huge art community and I thing is it, it's kind of like a ghost art community because I feel like we don't really notice it art has been a part of our culture for centuries and it's just something that's been so common to us that maybe we forget to um, acknowledge it as art. But everything from hair braiding, you know, al basso, the style of it, that's that's an art craft in its own. Uh, jabanas are made. There's there's never just a plain jabana, at least I haven't seen one. But there's always some type of design on it. So art has been part of our culture for so many years. As far as art in our community, it's always been there. Um, and it's just always been a part of us. And I think it's great because with the help of social media, I'm seeing more and more artists from um, painters to poets and dancers emerge on um, on Facebook and other platforms like Tumblr. So that's really great. And it's really nice because I get to connect with them so easily. So I definitely think we're expanding as a population when it comes to Eritrean artists and it's only getting better and better. I think with our community when it comes to art, it is definitely growing as far as artists. But um, and I and I, I think the great thing is that it's um it's becoming it's not accepted yet as far as something to pursue, but it's becoming more and more accepted as something that uh, Eritrean youths want to pursue as far as what they want to do with a career or spend their time in doing. So I think that's the great thing about it. Like for example. Um, my mother was never <laughs> really on board with pushing me into the arts so just like every Eritrean girl she wanted me to be a nurse but it's because you know we all understand where our parents come from and the background and the struggles that they dealt with so it's understandable that they want us to have something that's very stable and uh, the life of an artist isn't always that it rarely is so to be honest but I think I'm definitely seeing a lot more uh, youth become more fearless in the sense of pursuing the arts so I think it's only going to get greater and greater and possibly also affect our community in a positive way. One Hundred Dimpsey is a nonprofit project that I started um, at the beginning of 2013. And it's a project that's based on the photographic works of Eritrean youth. Last summer I went to Eritrea and I worked with about 82 youths um, from Asmara to Masawa. So, and this was all through the help of New East, which was really amazing on their part. But it's, um, it's a project that's based on showing what the country looks like from the perspective of the youth because so often we have um, foreign photographers uh, who go to all these different countries that they are not familiar with and they like to kind of paint things the way that they want to or romanticize certain situations so I felt like it was um, it would be nice to give the youth to kind of represent themselves the way they want to be represented uh, without my help or any direction from myself so this is what the project was meant to do and also in um, addition to that was to educate people about the country because so many people have never heard about it or even know where it's at uh, so this was a way to get that uh, cultural education and we have had two exhibitions uh, the first one premiered in Cincinnati Ohio and the second one was in Columbus Ohio and we are currently working on the third one actually the next six exhibitions which I have kept under wraps until now. So, or maybe I'll expose the details once this is <laughs> broadcasted. But, so we're currently working on about seven exhibitions and um, this these will all happen over the summer. God willing, because we have to do a lot of fundraising to make these happen. 
and uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just really blown away by what this project has done and the youths that came together to work on it and uh, just seeing that it actually happened you know everything starts out as an idea but there's always a little bit of doubt making you think I don't it's too big or it's you know it hasn't been done before so it may not happen but sure enough it came together with the help of many many people and of course all because of the youth this would not have been possible without them so I'm really and it's it's the only thing is that they haven't seen their own works exhibited yet and we're currently working on that so they will be able to you know see their own work for the first time and uh, be the stars of their own show pretty much soon now I'm gonna stop talking before I give away details but that is what the project is about and it has grown in crazy amounts over the past year like I've uh, mentioned before we have supporters all over the world um, and I think it's just it's really humbling to see what can be done when people come in together and really just you know want to make something that you feel is worth mentioning come to life and become a success also I would like to see maybe Eritrean artists push the boundaries of representing our culture in a way that hasn't been done before because we're, we, we typically see things that aren't original anymore. Um, maybe with one or two artists I see something new that comes about, but I mean really getting creative with pushing our, our culture's identity, I would say. I think we can definitely push the envelope with that and make something different happen, but also keep it true to what our culture is about. So I would like to see that. Maybe just some more, um, something different, I would say. Because we all love and appreciate our culture, but maybe to see it displayed in a different way might be really cool. I know it's um, sometimes it's expected for us to only create artwork that's related to our culture by people from our own culture, but I would say don't feel limited to that. Use Definitely use it as an advantage to set yourself apart from others that are creating around you, but don't feel like you have to fit into this mold that other people want you to fit into or only create certain works that you feel other people want to see or expect from you because um, you are a person who is made up of different experiences and different ideas so it's it's definitely your right to create whatever you feel you want to create. Be conscious of your power as an Eritrean artist and by that I mean what I've noticed is that it's it's getting harder and harder for people in my generation and the younger generation to connect with our culture so in being conscious of the power that you have as an Eritrean artist you're able to connect people through your artwork and to kind of remind people of who they are which I feel like we really need in this day and age especially with um, us in the diaspora so definitely consider that when it comes to creating artworks because it could be used for a powerful tool in connecting people so be aware of that. Oh, and to add to advice that I would give to aspiring Eritrean artists, I would say definitely use social media as a platform to showcase your work and to also connect with other Eritrean artists because there are so many out there who we are not aware of. Make sure you're posting online, even a blog page, which is free, Facebook page, which is free, and a Twitter page, which is free to um, showcase your work on. And this way, you'll be getting your work out there and simultaneously meeting other people and hopefully other Eritrean artists that we, bec we become a stronger community as far as Eritrean artists. And I think that's our last question. So thank you so much for making me a part of this new project that you have because I know you're so busy and you're always thinking of new things to do. I admire you for the work you do. Keep it up. We appreciate you and we love you so much. Have a good one. Nice talking to you guys. Bye. <laughs>